In this tutorial, we're going to cover the concept of diffraction and what it is and how to understand it and how to employ it uh, to improve your network planning. The area that we've chosen here is uh, an industrial area surrounded by a residential neighborhood. So we've got a nice a variety of obstacles which we need to demonstrate diffraction. We're going to place a tower on top of a building here uh, we've got LiDAR data so we can be very accurate and before we can do diffraction we need to look at line of sight. So we've selected a line of sight option here in the model and we only want to see what is visible from this vantage point. So I can see from here uh, rooftops and the tops of houses but I can't see in between these industrial units. Now let's enable diffraction by selecting knife edge here. So knife edge diffraction is a uh, simple formula which takes into account the size of an obstacle and the wavelength uh, to model the effect of diffraction beyond that obstacle. Let's see what happens. So huge difference immediately in terms of the area covered because we're now getting down in between these industrial units. However, if you look at the colors, you'll see there's quite a stark difference. So we're minus 70 dBm here, and in the diffracted area, minus 90, a 20 decibel difference. So that's a factor of 100. That's quite a lot. And for the large units here, like this is a bank, there's a huge shadow behind it. So this is a taller building, and a taller building produces a bigger shadow. If we head over to uh, the west, there's a very tall building out here, uh, which is a hospital, and the shadow uh, beyond that is significant. With the residential buildings, with the houses, uh, you can see the effect across uh, the map here, but it's not as significant as the industrial units, which are much larger. Now let's go and use one of these buildings up here. So this is um, a school and you can see the coverage on the playing fields and a large shadow beyond the school to the north. So what we're going to do now is demonstrate the difference that frequency makes. So I'm going to go and change the frequency. I'm going to drop the frequency by several hundred megahertz and go down to 400 megahertz. So what's going to happen here is we've dropped the wavelength which will um, increase the diffraction effect beyond that obstacle and actually improve the coverage into this shadow. So now we've improved coverage into all those gaps. So pretty much all the shadows have been filled in. Um, it's still noticeable, it's still a weaker signal, but it's much improved from where we were earlier. And just to show you what happens if you go the other way, uh, let's go up 400 from where we were at 1200, sorry. We started at 800, we're going up to 1200. So I type in 1200 and repeat. And what's going to happen now is the shadow is significant. Whereas that shadow before was just here, the shadow is now very significant. We've also lost quite a lot of coverage because the path loss has increased for this higher frequency. And that gap between those buildings, well, we can't get into that anymore, not at that frequency. It's no longer workable. So if you want to see a profile for diffraction, you can use the uh, the profile tool here. And let's go and click into this, uh, this gap here. And we can actually see um, this building here, and we can see beyond it. But that would not be workable. Now, as you actually move away from the building, you go into uh, the diffracted signal. So this area here does not have line of sight, but it, we are picking up an indirect signal that is coming off the, the top of this building here. So this is the knife edge diffraction we talked about earlier. And the further away you get from the obstacle, the better the signal gets. So we're now um, improving our signal by getting further away from it, but we still do not have line of sight. Now this concept applies to cliffs and it applies to buildings and anything that is, is blocking a direct signal. So conversely, going away from the building will actually improve the signal. So here we are, minus 117, step further, further away and we're at minus 114. So we've gained a few decibels by getting away from this obstacle. Height makes a difference, so if we, were, if we were to increase the height, that would change the angle of incidence and it would change the diffraction shadows. So watch um, these buildings here. Uh, let's increase the height 
and let's go up to uh, six meters on top of our building and we'll see what happens to these diffraction shadows. So they became smaller because the angle of incidence was different, so the angle of diffraction is different. As frequencies increase and you go up towards sort of 3000 megahertz, so the top end of UHF, uh, diffraction becomes so minimal that it's almost uh, line of sight. So the further up we go in the spectrum, uh, the more like line of sight the coverage looks. And as you go up very high, the effect is almost negligible. We're almost up to line of sight here. So that is diffraction.